Okay, we have our blue and our red LED on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to begin programming. Um, we have both keys ready. We're going to put key one in, turn it on. Don't start the vehicle, just turn the ignitions on. We're going to leave it in for a couple seconds, take it out, put key two in, turn it on. Leave it on for a couple seconds, take it out. We're going to press the program button and release it. The ignitions are going to turn on and the module is going to complete programming. At this point, um, we're going to wait a couple seconds and then we're just going to unplug the four pin. The ignitions of the vehicle will go off and we're going to re-plug the four pin in. Transponder portion is programmed. The third thing we're going to program is the long range antenna kit. Um, if you have this unit set up to a LC Pro or a uh, DS remote starter, you are done programming. You can now start the vehicle using your remote. What I'm going to program is a long range antenna kit, which is going to require another step of programming. And I'll show you how that is done as well. Okay, we have our long range antenna kit. Um, on our cable, we have uh, one end of the cable has two plugs. The other end has a single plug. We're going to plug the single plug with a clip on it into the antenna. The two plug side is going to go to the Evo all. It's also what's called a coupler. This is a, a unit that's going to allow us to connect this into the Evo all. First thing we're going to do is going to take the end with a clip on it. One of these ends has a clip, one has no clip. We're going to take the one with the clip and we're going to push it into the plug and lock it in. Now we're going to take the Evo and there's a data cable balled up here with a clip on it. We're going to slide that into the coupler as well. This is going to make a connection between the long range antenna and the Evo all. Now we can begin programming the long range antenna. To begin programming the long range antenna, pull the four pin plug, hold the program button down while plugging in the four pin. Again, we're going to release when the blue and the red LED are lit. At this point, we're ready to begin programming the long range antenna. The long range antenna comes with two single button remotes that work from up to 1500 feet away. Okay, these are the long range remotes we're going to plug or we're going to program to our system. Um, so we've, we've got the module, the uh, red and the blue LED on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to press and hold the program button down. The, the red and the blue LED is going to go out and then it's going to come back on. So now we're ready to begin programming these remotes. We're going to put the key in, turn the ignition to the on position, and then we're going to press a button on each remote until the red and the blue light blink. Then we will shut the key off, remove it from the ignition, and we're ready to test our remotes. Okay, we're outside our 2014 Ford Escape. I'm going to show you how the starter works. Now keep in mind, we have made no connections to the parking lights. We're doing just the start only, so we're not even going to connect to the parking lights. We're just going to let the auto lamps come on, or the daytime running lights, whatever they are there. To start the vehicle, we're going to press and hold the button for three seconds. One, two, three. This will trigger remote starting of the vehicle. We can also turn off the remote starter by pressing the button as well. There are no standalone features. We can't we cannot activate this remote start from the factory remote. So the one button solution is the best solution for this vehicle.